I'm going to tell you the meaning of these numbers. 111,119 is the number of ESPs operating in the world today. And you can tell we are a precision engineering company. We have it counted to the last ESP. All right? And then 15 is the percent that could significantly increase production if optimized. 16,667 is ESP wells operating suboptimally. And 60 is the percent of the AL workforce expected to retire within 10 years. And oops, another ESP just came online. Um, so. Well, I have to say from what you've told us so far, there's a real opportunity for some of you to improve your productivity. Absolutely. And let's, let's discuss how this works. And again, it's much more than just getting data. I once knew this very talented uh, young reservoir engineer. And he was a production engineer. He was monitoring many ESPs. He hooked up the ESPs to every single device known to man. You know, pressure, temperature, current flow rate, you name it. And then with these sensors, had them wired for alarms and notifications that would come back to this engineer and tell them when thresholds were exceeded. Literally, this poor person's computer and BlackBerry was buzzing like a beehive 24 hours a day. It was like, you know, oh no, the data tsunami, right? So literally within two months, you know, there was four wells with major frequency problems. There was two wells with a lot of scaling. And one well actually operating backwards. So... What did this engineer really need, and what is this engineer using now? This engineer is now using Beacon Global Services, because the Beacon Global Services team is going to be monitoring when wells are not hitting drawdown levels. Also, just for example, giving you very proactive solutions to avoid scaling problems. And this is now, this person's field is now producing at peak efficiency.